Hi there, I'm uh, Frank from the social media team and we're here at the Imagine Cup 2012. Um, next to me is Daniel Lewin. Uh, he's the Corporate Vice, Vice President for Strategic and Emerging Business Development at Microsoft. That's right. Uh, so could you please give a little an introduction for our viewers? Sure, about what? Uh, like what you're doing. Okay, well I'm here <laughs> at the Imagine Cup with you and we're doing a little chat about, uh, about the Imagine Cup. And uh, my area of, of responsibility really looks after those students that want to build businesses. And mm -hmm. so uh, we think of the program as a, as a way to engage the enthusiasm and the energy and to help students develop skills that if they want to apply themselves to building a business, we've got a natural set of programs that can help them do that. Okay, cool. So uh, you've been involved with like several technology companies over the past few years. Um, in what field of technology do you see the most applications today? Well, I think technology is uh, basically uh, the essential enabler to mm -hmm. solving most problems in just about every area today. So whether it's in healthcare or building new and approachable educational systems, uh, energy, um, uh, broader communications problems that we see in the world. I think that, uh, that IT has gone way beyond the simple basics and is now just the fabric of most social change. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, so as you said at the opening ceremony, you've worked with around about 10 startups. Is that correct? Me? Well, yeah, I've been involved in personally. Microsoft, in the Microsoft ecosystem, right? Oh, I'm involved in the Microsoft Little. ecosystem. We've got 60,000 startups engaged in the BizBark program. Okay. Um, we work closely with probably about a thousand a year okay. uh, on the global basis. Um, on a personal level, in the past, before I came to Microsoft, which was about 10 years ago, I was involved with uh, half a dozen or so startups myself. So okay. I've, I've, I've lived the dream. <laughs> awesome. Okay, so a lot of students okay. here have like the ambition to start their own company. Yeah. Um, what would you suggest them to think about to increase their chances of success? Well, they have to find a really hard problem. They have to find a problem that um, people are interested in, you know, mm -hmm. in terms of, uh, of building a business. Yeah. Um, but the skills that they'll develop in participating in the Imagine Cup, uh, including presentation skills, um, pitching skills, learning how to present your ideas well, those are very, very important. Um, but in many cases, it's really understanding um, the base problem and then the market for that problem. And then the technology can follow for most cases. Sometimes, you know, it could be an algorithm and a very specific mm -hmm. set of technical skills that will create the solution. Okay. But most of them, I think, are market-centric. Okay. Um, so how could Microsoft, like, assist with, with the startups and with entrepreneurship? Well, we do actually as a company, uh, starting from uh, the DreamSpark offer, which mm -hmm. is where the tools and, and uh, servers and access to our cloud services are made available to students uh, for non-commercial use, but you know, for any, any kind of project. Then we have the contests and the programs like Imagine Cup where people can, yeah. can apply themselves and refine their problem solving skills and use technology to solve a problem. And then if they want to do something commercial, we have a program called BizSpark. B-I-Z-S-P-A-R-K, and if you go to the BizSpark site, you'll see that we've created a network of over 2,000 partners around the world who are financiers or mentors or legal and consulting services that can be helpful to an entrepreneur who wants to build a business. So we're doing our best to build a global ecosystem, and by, uh, I'd say, all accounts uh, and the market feedback, we've got the best programs in the world uh, to help entrepreneurs and young people build businesses. Yeah, definitely. Okay, so obviously some startup projects have to cope with some bumps along their way to success. They do. So probably if they are like um, be out in round two, mm -hmm. uh, do you have like any encour encouraging words for them or? Well, um, stay focused. Uh, mm -hmm. I do think that um, building uh, businesses requires consistency and focus. Uh, again, you've got to have a problem that's that's a meaningful problem that will solve. Uh, you know, that people want to pay for, assuming you want to build a business. Uh, and, uh, you know, all things considered, it does take focus and persistence, and it's tiring, and it's relentless. So um, there aren't any entrepreneurs that succeed in a big way that, that wouldn't tell you that, you know, persistence and, and focus on the long term is the key. Yeah, okay. Well, right. thank you. Well, we're glad to be here. Yeah, so this was Daniel Lewin uh, in Sydney, Australia, um, from the social media team. So... 
If you want to check us out, please um, check us out on Twitter, hashtag MSPSMT, or if you want the whole story, check us out, hashtag ImagineCup. Thank you very much, and we'll see you online. Perfect.